hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we bring to you just on olayinka solomon and ibrahim chata you wonder what brings these two people together yet again as they both have a past together also share an issue together their first ever son their first fruit from both sides is celebrating his 13th birthday and in the light of this these two amazing people alayanka solomon and ibrahim chata both took to their various instagram pages to celebrate with their son especially alayanka solomon took to her instagram page to share a video of herself and her son the boy is really cute and his name is malik chata alayanka solomon first shared the video of herself and her son in the car and she added a caption saying in adi to my king ireto milola big 13 just like yesterday hashtag karama alaja one hashtag omomushi tony future hashtag ogomushi worldwide hashtag ajk baby and quote in another post she shared online she was sharing a picture of her son dressed in a jersey and the young man was looking elegant and cute she had a caption saying happy birthday to my wonderful son no matter how big you are or how far you go i'll always be here right beside you allah bless me with you i am proud to have such a dear son like you may this day be a special one for you abdul malik b13 and quote and as expected friends and colleagues from the nollywood industry took to the comment section saying happy birthday son Kemigori they said happy birthday son Bishala Badma said happy birthday son Femi Adibayo happy birthday darling long life and prosperity Inka Kodri congratulations son being pay akin to the happy birthday Abdul Malik Omo Alausa said happy birthday handsome may you live to fulfill Allah's purpose for your life as you excel in all your ways congratulations mommy Malik and quotes and this and many more where people commented and wished Amalik happy birthday on his special day. Alaika Solomon went ahead to open an Instagram page account for her son as she stated that she'll make sure she follows whoever follows her son's page back. And of course, our favorite and ever charming Ibrahim Chata also took out time with his son as he shared a video of his son and himself on his verified Instagram page, writing a caption saying, Happy birthday. Abdul Malik Ndajia Ureto Milola Aremuchata. And in the video, he was heard cheering his son on, telling him to make sure to always hold his head high no matter what. He continued to advise his son in the best way any father would. This is a beautiful and amazing way to co parent your children. Alainka Solomon and Ibrahim Chata looked away from whatever it is that they might have had in the past and make sure that their son doesn't suffer loss they were both selfless this is a selfless way to raise a child one parent is not depriving the other from seeing their children and this will help the child do that yes my father loves me my father didn't abandon me my mother and my father might not be together today but i know that they both love me we are all familiar and we are all aware of ibrahim chatter's story with olayinka solomon olayinka solomon stated that the first ever man that she would ever know was Ibrahim Chata. Ibrahim Chata was the first love of her life, the first man she would ever be sexually intimate with, and also the first man she would ever have her children for. Then the relationship didn't go as expected and as planned. She stated in the interview that she thought when they moved in together, Ibrahim Chata was going to do the rightful thing go and meet her parents, do the normal introduction and have their marriage and they can continue to live as husband and the wife. This never come to pass as she even went tired to explain that Ibrahim Chata beats her and in fact Malik is not even supposed to be the firstborn as her first ever pregnancy was lost due to excessive beating from Ibrahim Chata. She said in her words and I quote, we met in 2007, we started living together right from 2008 was my first love i have never dated any other guy in my life it disflowered me that made me submit myself to him hoping that whenever he has money we can do introduction and other things he was a womanizer a gold digger he collected all the money in my account before my eyes was open 
when he saw that i don't have money again he started misbehaving bringing women into the house i had my first pregnancy in 2007 but due to constant beating i lost the pregnancy i had another in 2008 i gave birth february 2009 thank god i have a mother if not i will have been suffering three months after the naming of my baby he brought his girlfriend into the house i cooked for them and slept in the guest room people can testify to it he told me he was sorry that the lady would only spend the weekend in the house and i agreed but a week passed and she didn't go when i asked him he started beating me that was how I left his out the first time. I caught him and another woman in our bed naked. It was a very sad story. I regret ever meeting Ibrahim Chata. He treated me like a slave. End quote. This was Olainka Solomon explaining her ordeal and the experience she had with Ibrahim Chata. But well, everybody has a past. I'm pretty much sure everyone has outgrown their childish behavior. At the year, since these two went their separate ways, and Ibrahim Chata got married to his third wife, the headlines that were making news was that ex-husband of Olainka Solomon is getting married she came out to clear the air and states that she was never married to Ibrahim Chata and people should stop saying that they were married if anyone has anything contrary to this she would provide a certificate she released a statement and said been in the Nollywood industry since 2005 and I don't think I have at a point go beyond my boundaries Ibrahim Chata is dynamic actor and a senior colleague I respect so much I am not his wife or his former wife. He's a colleague and we are all professionals at what we do. I have not at any point walked down the aisle with him and any reporter who is so sure of that should kindly show me our marriage certificate. The photos and videos taken at the wedding ceremony. Nigerians just like to link things together. I am single but not searching. I have a man in my life. His identity is confidential to me. I can't wait to be with the love of my life and start a new life together as a couple. Sure, very soon you are going to know about him, probably during our wedding. Ibrahim Chata is married with kids and I am sure he's enjoying his marriage. So the rumor mongers should get in touch with the Lagos State Government so as to get a new job as highway cleaners. End quote. This was Olayinka. Calling as bloggers who tend to tag her and Ibrahim Chata as exes. And of course, she is happily married now to Olasu Komi Mabinori. And now Olayinka Solomon is referred to as Mrs. Mabinori. And of course, her husband is quite understanding and matured and knows way too well that anything and everything she hears about his wife is in the past. He also went ahead to celebrate the Malik on his birthday. He took to his Instagram page and said, Happy birthday to you irito milola may all your hopes dreams and aspirations come through for you as you begin this new chapter of your life you deserve all the very best things to come your way dear boy end quote this was olaso call me mabinori liberating his wife's son and of course we can see the maturity played out between these three people well we say a happy birthday to my league long life and prosperity and guys that you have it do not forget to like subscribe share and drop your comments in the comment section below thank you bye